this is the Jetco Uniport 8030 NPK by Jetco and Connect, a modding on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. This is 54.2 megabytes to download. Also, it is 34 slots on console, so it is a bit of an investment for console players, uh, especially the older consoles. However, this has some interesting, um, well, things that you should probably know about before making a decision. So, where do we find this? This is going to be under crop protection and there we go so this is not a sprayer it is a spreader it has lime and uh solid fertilizer 300 horsepower 4x4 four four hydrostatic so yeah it's a it's it's a cvt in other words 400 liters of uh fuel capacity 34 mile per hour top speed 8,000 liter capacity and uh, up to a 50 meter working width at 15 miles per hour. So let's take a look. We don't have a whole lot of options. It is interesting that a 50 meter spread, this is based, uh, I would imagine, being uh, sponsored by Jetco uh, as one of the uh, listed um, mod credits. Uh, this is pretty much going to be in real life or as close to real life as possible uh wheel setups we have a few wheel sizes and then we have window tint and that's all the that's all the configurations we have so let's just go ahead uh and right off the bat hop in now this one let's start it up again i was too far away It has a, I would say, a unique sound. It's not like a generic sounding motor. Let's take a look inside. Turn our lights on. Yeah, got some neat stuff. Now, there's not a whole lot of... So, here's our lights. We have a beacon. Uh, we have signals. Yes, we have signals. As for options, we do have an option L1 and right stick right and left. We can widen out the stance of the unit. R1, and let's see, this is works better inside. R1 and right stick up and down. We have a shade, which is more of a blocker. Uh, it is solid. You cannot see through that. So, yeah, probably not going to use that at all if you do any in-cab stuff. L1 and R1 and right stick. Open and close that door. And the light comes on, if you notice. When you open the door, light comes on. Kind of cool. And uh, looks like there's a rocking sound system in here or something. I don't know. I don't see a radio anywhere unless it's built in. But unless those are vents. That's probably vents, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, uh, not like you're actually sitting in there. Let's drive it around a bit. L1 and left opens up that cover. So I have lime in this one. Let's go... Uh, let's go fill it up. We can fill it up anywhere you like. But we'll fill it up from a silo. Uh, brakes seem to work quite well, even with it's, when it's fully loaded. So there it is. 8,000 liters of lime and uh, lime or fertilizer. Let's turn the lights off and the beacons off now as you can see the partial width uh, or the variable width of this is quite extensive um, yeah up to 50 meters now if you hire a worker it's automatically going to go to 50 meters as I will show you L1 and R3 so we got 50 48 46 4 42 40 8 6 yeah two meter increments that's the uh, the most precise adjustable uh, width I have ever seen down to four meters like that is ridiculous <laughs> right so uh, we have it set to four meters let's just go up to the top of the field here 
it gets up and goes pretty good actually so let's uh, start off over here and uh, I let let's see it proved me a liar but no there we go it'll it'll automatically adjust up to the 50 meter spread now um, we might as well continue with this workers um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the worker but then it seemed to sort itself out so it could have been because I was close to some buildings and it just didn't like it so obviously this is for uh, large areas large fields and lime does run out and as you can see it's going to leave a little bit of um, unfinished business at the ends of the fields turnaround is pretty good the issue I had was it went to the end of the field and started backing up and it backed up but it hasn't done it since uh, and that was over there by close to those buildings so I think it senses buildings its spider senses was tingling and it just said no so see that's what it does at the ends of the fields leaves a little bit of a patch uh, which is odd because it doesn't do that with so if we flip over here uh, I have solid fertilizer in there and if we uh, if we hire a worker there we go he will start spreading at the 50 meter width and uh, hopefully we can see it it's kind of difficult to see there it is we can kind of see it up here the change in color to a darker shade with the uh, solid fertilizer being applied but with the solid fertilizer hopefully we'll see it here at the end we'll keep an eye and yes it seems like it um yeah it goes right to the end and if we just switch over here to fertilized and uh, yeah we have full coverage there and we'll go here you can see obviously it's uh, even in the PDA it's left some uh, spots and I didn't show the turnaround but there you go it's uh, turned around just just fine and at, actually at this angle you can see the darker spot up ahead where the circle of <laughs> the circle of death is encompassing it but anyways um Other than that, uh, the suspension all looks good. A highly detailed model. Looks really good. And the, I don't, there's very few mods that spread lime at 50 meters. Uh, so uh, here we go here he's going not missing any bits or anything like that except for those little bits at the ends of the field yeah so there's your mod for the day only one today of course if you're watching this later it doesn't matter but um and that I'm curious to see what he's going to do now. He's going to turn around. And he's going to try to get that last little bit. And I think this is where last time. It wasn't even last time. I just started him at the end, and he just kind of freaked out. Let's see what he does here. Is he actually going to? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Now you're going to have to watch him because he's going to waste a lot of lime spreading it all over, just get, catching that. Oh, no, he says no. He's done. He says he's done. So, um, yeah, as long as you um, keep it away from buildings, I think you'll be fine with this. It's quite the large uh, spread width, so you're going to cover a lot. Um, uh, there isn't any way that I know of to expand, like at least on console, there's no hitches or anything like that. So it is what it is. And there you go, the Jacko Uniport 8030 NPK by Jacko E Connect Modding on Farming Simulator 22. And thank you all for watching, and remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.